Happy race day. It is Sunday, May 29th, 2022. Indianapolis 500 is in a little bit. We got Scott Dixon on. Number nine, let's roll. But before that, today is a day of racing all day. We've got the Monaco GP for Formula One, the greatest spectacle in racing here in Indy, and then NASCAR is down in Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. Um, look at Monaco. The, the TV broadcast is so crappy. Uh, it's pouring out rain in Monaco. Look. Look at that. I mean, this is the formation lap, so they're not going fast anyway, but uh, it is a wet, rainy race. Oh, there you go. You can see it a little bit now. Ooh. Anyway, it looks pretty crappy uh, in Monaco, which is disappointing. It's always one of the cooler races to watch. The passing isn't exactly great, but it's a cool race to watch. There you go. See? Water everywhere. Uh, anyway, we are going to... I'm going to head to the store, pick up a few things, and then get prepared for that seat right there. That's where we're going to be. We have Peacock Plus. Oh, look at the rain now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wow, what a, what a start to the day. Anyway, we're going to prepare. We've got people Peacock Plus Premium Platinum all purchased, ready to roll. So we're going to be able to watch the race right here. Excited about that. Hopefully, you have a great Sunday. Hopefully, it's enjoyable. It's going to be fantastic here in Indianapolis, mid to high 80s. If you have a pool, enjoy it. Have fun with it and grill out. And it's just, it's going to be a great day. Scott Dixon is going to get win number two. I can see it. Welcome, race fans. 300,000 fans here today and millions around the world are helping us put on the greatest single spectator sport in the world. The 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. Woo! It's Memorial Weekend. We want to thank the men and women in our military and our first responders who make our country safe and secure. How big that trophy is. So we can have the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500. Racing. Be safe, have fun, and now for the command. Drivers, start your engine. Two things. Number one, how good is pineapple? I haven't had pineapple in forever. Got some at the store. Second thing, Meyer. Your chips are only two dollars, and that's amazing. But you got to put some chips in it, man. These were like a fourth of the way full. Like we went through a bag of chips, and we didn't even really eat them. Anyway, race is going on. We just had some wings, some leftover pasta. Philip had a couple chicken sandwiches and pancakes. It's been all kinds of fun stuff. But anyway, the race is still going on. We're watching it. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful day outside. We'll talk about that later. Well, the race is over. The Indianapolis 500, check the flag, Marcus Erickson from Chip Ganassi Racing with the win. We got the fan, I'll turn it off. Um, all kinds of, well, not all kinds. There's some crazy things that stunk. My man, Scott Dixon, was speeding on pit, pit road. Had to go to the end. Alex Plow, another guy that was fast, mixed up with the yellow, so he went to the end. Basically, it was an interesting race. Uh, the big power teams, didn't do much except Andretti, or I'm sorry, except Canassi. So they win. And um, now May's almost over. <clears throat> we are just hanging out now. And I'm getting ready to go pick up some Arnie's pizza. I'll show you what we get. And then this evening, I don't know what we'll do. It's a pretty nice evening. So hopefully we have a fire outside. That's what I would like to do, hopefully. So we'll see. But um, the race is over. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you went, it was a perfect day. There's all kinds of great funny pictures of people at the track doing all kinds of stupid things. So if you went, hopefully you are not one of those people. I just got done with a cool little time lapse because the clouds are moving quick. But we're going to continue our Sunday. Hopefully you are uh, having a good one. I can't... I kind of momentarily forgot how to stop the camera there. What? The? Okay, we're on the GoPro. Hero 9. Because I recorded the last episode of the 500 Today Show. We did a full recap of the race and what all happened, but we'll get to that later. 
we got a special dessert getting made. Look at this. We're making cherry cheesecake pie. Here's the recipe. You ready? That's it. It's a secret, ancient family recipe. Passed on from generation to generation. And you can't have it. <laughs> First you put cream cheese in here. Or sour cream. What is it? Cream cheese? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. You put it. You, you do something with it. I'm trying to. You're trying to. I had to let it soften so you can mix it. Did you hear that? Cooking tip number one of the cherry cheesecake pie. Let your cheesecake, or I forget what the tip was. Cream cheese. Let your cream cheese soften. Soften. Oh, watch this. Ready? I know you kids like them extra sloppy. Sloppy cheesecake. We I normally uh, give that to my mom. <laughs> so the leftover cream cheese goes to Heidi's mom. So we don't, like cream cheese. we don't like cream cheese. But anyway, look at this. We got cream cheese in here. We've got confectionery sugar. Confectioner sugar. We're not on oh. Main Street here. Oh, well, that's that Disney. <laughs> and it goes in this shortbread thing. Cool whip. Look at this. Oh, we're not going to show you how much. Oh, you can't look at the recipe. This is top secret. What is it? A cup? Allegedly? Uh -huh. A cup of confectionery sugar? Yes. <laughs> Making a mess. I just cleaned this kitchen. Oh, Are please. you kidding me? There you go. Confectionery sugar and cream cheese. Check. All right, we're back. We had to uh, change up the battery because we used this a little bit earlier. And now we are putting our confectionery sugar and our cream cheese together. Mix it up. There it is. Hey, watch the camera, eh? Well, you ran my way. So we're cooking. And while we're cooking, did you know that yesterday was National Burger Day on Saturday? I did not. I apologize. I missed an opportunity for... You know what I did? I cooked hamburgers. You did cook hamburgers. I celebrated National Hamburger Day without even knowing that it was there. So I wish you a happy hamburger day. Uh, comment below. What's your favorite hamburger? What kind? Uh, I think the kids would say either... I think Luke would like Wendy's. I think he loves Wendy's burgers. He likes brew burgers. But he likes brew burgers too. Brew burger makes a heck of a burger. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I would hope they did. Uh, it's not just a clever name, folks. Uh, did you ever watch the Family Guy episode where the baby, what's the baby's name, Stewie, is talking to Lois, the mom, and he goes, Mom, no, wait. That's not the episode. Just kidding. Uh, the episode is when Brian the dog goes, uh, can you hand that to me? And the baby goes, what is it? Cool whip. And they went back and forth because he said whip instead of whip. If you're not laughing at that, you don't know comedy. Anyway, here, look at this. There's our confectionery sugar. And, oh, this is hard as a rock. Oh, no. We got hard whipped cream. A recipe for disaster. Is that all we need? No, we use the whole thing, but I mix it up. Oh, Mix it up with the confectionery sugar and the sour cream. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Well, Heidi got a workout. Look at how smooth the whipped cream and the cream cheese and everything is. Here's our pie shell. Shortbread. Shortbread crust. And look at that deliciousness. Let's go. Can you keep it down a little bit? Okay. You want to eat this or not? Mm -hmm. That sound is really loud. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm kidding, kids. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jokester. But look at this. It looks delicious. Look at that. Get every little bit out of there. Get every bit out of there. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good, Clark. So what do we do now, Heidi? Well, we refrigerate it overnight because Grandma Marge said that you should do that to let it set up and then when you put the cherries on 
it'll stay formed better like when you cut the pieces otherwise you know it'll get all runny and break up and stuff wise words from the infamous grandma marge we miss her daily she had a lot of insight and a lot of good thoughts ideas uh quick grandma marge story uh this was heidi's grandma um this luke was i mean i'm gonna you're gonna kill me with the times five or six with the first of the first card playing six seven oh, he was younger than that. luke was a young little dude and grandma marge uh if you did not know her she played to win she did not matter if you were her brother that she played against or her daughter granddaughter so today is one of her brother's birthday <laughs> happy birthday, birthday. Heavenly birthday to Grandma Marge's brother. Uncle Don. Uncle Don. Oh, he was awesome. Um, anyway, Luke was a little guy and throws a card and then tries to pick it up, and she would not let him do that. Uh, she <laughs> says, not, no. A card laid is a card played. Grandma Marge was in it to win it. She didn't care how old you were. Five, <laughs> 60, 70, 80. Great grandson. No, not having it. She was a fantastic woman. We miss her daily. Um, so, a little fun fact. She told you to... Make sure that the pie goes in the refrigerator. So we're going to do that and eat it tomorrow. All right, our Sunday has come to a close. We've got a big day tomorrow. It's going to be really warm outside. Uh, we have some plans in the afternoon. A little bit of sleeping in tomorrow. And then one day left before we get back to work on Tuesday. Um, Philip was going through our little Disney bag and came across a little slap bracelet. So that's out here. Making the rounds of uh, playing around, messing around with it. But tomorrow, it's going to be fun. Have some plans in the afternoon. And uh, get to enjoy that cherry pie. It's going to be awesome. Um, hopefully, you had a great day. Hopefully, you enjoyed the race. Uh, it was fine. It was a fine race. I mean, now that I think about it, a lot of passing at the front. Um, I'm disappointed in the TV broadcast. There was a lot of stuff that happened. But we didn't even know where people were or what they were doing. Kind of frustrating. But anyway, uh, that's it. The race is done. The IndyCar guys come back in the fall for a Grand Prix race, but uh, that's it. We'll see them around the Oval next May. It's it's always a sad day when the Indianapolis 500 is 365 days away. But anyway, we're going to get on with summer. After this weekend, we have a lot going on through the end of June to 4th of July weekend. Um, so it's going to be a really busy summer really fast. But... Thank you so much for being here. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Again, we keep picking up new subscribers. I'm so thankful for all of you. And uh, hit that notification bell. And thank you. Appreciate it. Well, almost dropped the camera. See you tomorrow.